an international meeting of hair restoration experts. We call it the DHI Masters Meeting. And the focus of this meeting is to present actual results. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's the result that counts. Sky TV was here, and that was uh, good. Today we've seen all sorts of female hairline design, male hairline design, male crown modifications. So, you know, the, the full approach. We uh, transplanted uh, hairs using follicular unit extraction from the back to the front uh, using uh, scalp hair, but also some chest and beard extraction, and the results have been phenomenal. It's just a great, great uh, technology that's at use here. The session this morning was impressive, uh, and uh, we could discuss uh, among the most uh, well-known experts from all over the world. I found myself the session very interesting and uh, let's say interesting for the future steps what to do. And we saw a great variety of hair loss types, one uh, pertaining to women. This is an exciting case because this young lady had her hairline dropped and the density of the hairline increases appropriately away from the front. Hair loss in women is very devastating and if we can help these women to get their hair back, it makes them feel better and look better. So I think it's a great job. Congratulations. I've been attending the meeting for the last seven years and it gets exciting every time. Newer things, newer concepts. Uh, you know, we're talking about the direct in, which is going to be the future of uh, hair transplant. We're talking about stem cells, we're going to talk about PRP, which are with platelet growth factors and all. I think it's a very, very exciting time here. Yeah. Here we have the DHI team of experts from 15 countries and we also have some special guests. It's very important for doctors to share information because the more we share, the more we learn. My name is uh, Kostas Margelis. I came here to make implementation in my hair. Now it is eight months. I'm very happy for the result. I feel much better, much more confident. I think they do very nice work. No question about it. As you see the patients talking and how happy they are, and it's amazing to see the satisfaction coming out from the patients themselves. Since I was a little girl, I had problems with my uh, temples, so I cannot uh, grab my hair uh, as a ponytail. And uh, when uh, Mr. Giotis uh, uh, gave me the opportunity to do the session, I was very happy. This year, uh, we could have the proof that the DHI is working at the highest level of qualification and the transparency in the field of air transplantation. DHI Today we were performing several uh, micropigmentation test sessions. This is a new technique we're introducing. Actually, I had the technique myself. It provides instant density. This is a complementary technique that works along with hair transplants or on its own. These are uh, special little micro points uh, that look like dots, look like hairs. And this illusion of hairs provides density. It lasts from three to five years. Sometimes though, we have to have the test to make sure that there is no discoloration or uh, change of the pigmentation. The procedures, as you see here, is performed by doctors only and not by technicians. It's very, very important to choose the right colors and of course, to perform the procedure on the right depth. Yeah, micropigmentation is an excellent solution for people who have had hair transplants in the past but they have no more donor area to achieve additional density and have a better natural appearance. I had some uh, micropigmentation uh, on the crown area of my uh, head so it went quite well. It's, it feels very similar to getting a normal tattoo done although they put some cream around the area to kind of uh, numb the pain a little bit and it was fine so very almost tickled actually which was quite, quite good. It's, uh, it's lovely being here actually and everyone's really nice so um, I'm glad to be here. <laughs>